When you wake up and choose violence, like, bro. Also, when you wake up and go, welcome to mid lane. Alrighty, so we're doing a video on God Rank 10 Bestead. Got her there, alright. We'll go over, we'll just hover over the stats so we can see it and all that. <clears throat> Ability wise, she's pretty good. Her, basically, her uh, passive is just a free chase. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, her pounce. You're gonna pounce in, then you're gonna stun with a cat, then whip, and then you're, but you're gonna pop your ult before you do any of this with this character, because that's how you play her. This gives you ability damage. It's all about the abilities of this character when it comes down to it. I have both awards done. Yep. And then. Uh, ability builder. We'll go over this first before we go over the items. We'll just say you get whip, pounce, cat, whip, alt, whip, whip, pounce, whip, pounce, 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 then alt, alt. Yeah, you basically do this because this is the best way to upgrade her abilities. But we're going over the items, because this is what everybody likes to see. So you're going to run Bluestone. You're going to... Here, let's just do this, whatever. You're going to run Bluestone, you're going to do Bruce because this is what gives you the ability damage you need, or get kills, because you're going to try fragging out and dealing lots of damage with this character. That's just the way it is. You're going to use fucking abilities left, right, and center. Then you're going to run Ninja Tabby, because that gives you power, of course. It's the best one. Then Jones for 20% cooldown, and the power of the pen, all that shit, you know? Arndite for the extra 10% cooldown, the 75 power it gives, and it's passive, it allows you to basically just say, fuck you, I now have the ability to, after my ult, fucking clean up, because you'll have 30% more movement speed, and your passive will make it where you have another 20, so that's 50%, and on top of that, you do more damage, it marks players, you know, all that shit. This is to max out the fucking, uh, what is it, this is how you max out your, uh, cooldown, it's with Hydra's Lament. I gotta read it to see what it does, but I know it's pretty good. I know it's good enough. It's probably the best thing to run. Honestly, where is it? Fuck. Oh, yeah, Hydras. For 8 seconds after using the ability, your next basic attack will deal an additional 40% damage. Abilities that function like basic attacks do not benefit from this. Passive, this item grants 2.5 uh, MP5 per 10% of your missing mana. So, yeah, it's good for mana regen, which you need, and all that shit. You can build this before on day if you want, or whenever, don't matter, it's just really good to have in your build, but Heartseeker will be the next thing you build, I know this, because uh, this gives you mana, regen, penetration, it also makes it where you can shred everybody on the fucking enemy team, it's all based off of your power, and your abilities gain more power from your fucking ult, so this just makes you do shit ton more damage, but your next hit on the same target, do more damage for the next 3 seconds, which means like if you just pop, which since you're ability spam like Notum Aro, that's what you're gonna need. That's why you run it. It's because, like, you just have fucking ability spam. Do this, leap out, fucking after popping your ult and using all your abilities. Or you can commit and just fucking keep spamming abilities. Keep spamming stuns and shit like that to win. And then you're gonna build. You're gonna sell your shoe. Which then you're gonna build the Crusher. Now, I build Crusher late because it's not really all that needed with Bluestone Bruce and the Heart Seeker and the cooldown. Because you need all that in order to shred, right? The four, like, you got the three cooldown items that you need. The boost down what you need for your abilities. You got your shoe, because that's a shoe, you're going to need it early. And then Heartseeker to get the extra shredding. If I was going to sell my shoe, though, and I have Bluestone Bruce already up, which is the left side path of, path of Bluestone Pendant, it would be uh, Crusher, because it gives me more ability damage as a passive and some attack speed, which is nice and all, but we don't care about the attack speed, we care about the ability damage. You do that, you're probably going to run Blink and, like, Beads, usually, or Aegis. You do want the chalice, all that. I do have eye in this just in case I wanted to, tr in case they nerf blue stone or something, which you know would be nice and all that. Uh, of course, this god is really good in terms of fucking stats and all that. Her abilities, basically, I should if I'm gonna tell you how to run them early game, it would be you just get the whip and you just whip clear all the time. Uh, you get the pound second, so if you need to dive players, you can do it. You probably won't kill them, but you'll at least back them off at best and then if you're going and then you're going to go for fucking uh 
the stun, which is your cat. You send it forward, sends forward the cat, and uh, if you hit him with a line, it stuns. If you don't, the cat will chase and deal damage. It will chase and deal damage regardless. And the damage is not a lot, but it's pretty good. You can just send a cat as a guard. They'll attack it because it does some decent damage at least. Got your old, it goes and scales from 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You think like, oh, I'm going to need all this percentage early. You don't really. It's all because you're b ability heavy. So like this doesn't actually do anything. It's just a stim for your abilities, which is nice. That's why you're a max pool down though. So you can just fucking go through all your abilities hella fast, which they have like, let's see. This one has 12 seconds, which is not, which is pretty long. 13 seconds, pretty long. 12 seconds, pretty long. You know, they're compared to some gods, it's pretty long, but like others, not really. But that's why you run cooldown, it's so that you can just spam the shit out of these and kill players. Now, I call it ability spamming, it does require a bit of fucking work to actually get kills with this god. She's been known as, like, the bottom tier, and as of late, there's some YouTubers that have been posting shit, and honestly, I'm like, alright, so you've been posting all these videos on Bastet. I posted a video not too long ago on Bastet where I, she's fucking popping off, I'm destroying kids in Joust and shit with my build. It bothers me, because it's like, everybody's like, oh, this god's so bad, and then they're like, oh, she's so good now, because they both Transcendence. It's like, you know, she's always been good, without Transcendence. why I don't run Transcendence, because this build does not require it, at all. I don't like stack items in the jungle, I never will. They're just not something you run, unless you really need it. Uh, I do have a 66% win rate, which is not too bad, honestly. i say that's pretty good. What's my KD? Uh... 2.36. That's pretty solid. I ain't gonna lie. For this type of god. Yeah. I got a quiet pop. I did not buy diamond or gold or anything like that. I'm gonna show them off though, because they look cool. Yeah, there's gold, Bastet. Legendary Bastet. The flex would be the diamond, but I don't think I really want it since I have Kawhi Pop anyways, which is just an all around decent looking skin. Well, it's not a decent looking skin. It just annoys my teammates, which is funny. That's why I like it. And then, uh, you know, God Rank 10, 1008, you know, that, yeah, this is like my 11th God at God Rank 10. Like, Jesus, bro, I've been going hard. Oh, yeah, these, these are what I need to talk about. <laughs> As Vestet deliver the killing blow to an enemy god in a single match with the damage from your cats. Not hard. At all. Because most of the time you're going to kill them in like two abilities, which will be your pounce and then your cats, which would probably kill most of the time. Uh, as Vestet release 45 cats in a single match. Not hard either. Your ult sends three. You send one normally. Like, it's not hard. You're going to use your fucking cat to do clears on fucking jungle, or you're gonna use your pounce for clears in jungle, or your eggs and clears in jungle, don't be stingy with them since you're building cooldown anyways. But it requires hefty amounts of farming to play the jungle as Bastet. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's how you play Bastet, Gower Rank 10.